csgolfest.com ou lidem em grande quantidade de game modos para vocês. A em esportes, retiradas fáceis e presentes para os usuários regulares do site. Então, entre no primeiro link da descrição e boa sorte! He's going to try and cement the man advantage now. Smoothie shifts into him. That's a beautiful shot of the Smoothie. Down to a five on three. Now, now as the Eagle goes flying, as the set piece goes out, what can Mobistar Riders do? On what will be their attack? Full blind, but is forced on back. Here's Forrest. He's able to tag down Shox. He can't finish the job, though. Forrest, he falls down to four on three. Damage under steel. He's taking down. Halzo tries to continue aggressive. Mopoz falls down to Shox. A load in a one versus four. And frankly, he should be taken down here. It should be a quick pistol round for Dickens Ass and their chance to push their way forward. Now, a worry I have for Dickens Ass is they have a high win rate on Overpass, but they've only played it six times in the last three months. Most of Riders, they've played it, I believe, 17. So they, they've they played this map a hell of a lot more. However, the problem with this is that for most of Riders, us, then I don't really know what's in store for us because right now they're not getting off to the best of starts. It's still very, very early days, but as I say, if Dignitas were able to topple this first map in the pool, I don't think it's going to fill this mixed European side with confidence. Well, Alzo, it's been good for one. They'll try to double down as well as he's got Forrest to come out from Con to help him. Forrest, can he double down? It's damn messy, but it's actually still a shock to land kills with those Glocks. A uh, bit of an overextension from Dignitas there and because they're punished for it, They are going to have to switch around these guns, get the high, gun on the high HP player. However, for Alex, he doesn't have armor, so this should still be a quick cleanup. And if Dignitas can do it with three players left standing, they'll be more than happy with it. As we wait to see where Mobisar Riders choose to attack, and from the looks of it, if they push back down towards Fountain, it might just be a push down towards B. Well, as they start to work their way around, they've actually had a fair amount of success, given the fact that this was just an eco. They've found a couple of kills. They've got an M4. They've got that MP9. The issue is, is that shocks and steel, they're incredibly low on health. The single bullet can actually take out the both of them. And Freiburg, ready and waiting with that MP9. And it really, really does do quite a lot of damage. As he's on the right angle, 25 seconds on this clock. Mobile Star Riders definitely need to speed this up. And it looks like they are just going to walk straight through this smoke, accompanied by a flashback. Freiburg, he'll be blinded, but it will fade before he has to take the gunfight. And whilst it is traded one for one, I can't imagine this C4 goes down. Oh, it looks like a very well may do with another kill on to heap. It leaves it all down to Lecro in a one versus two. Plant goes down. Mobile Star Riders, this has been a really successful eco. And uh, as they go in for the initial pick, shocks in the nick of time. Oh, that crow would shut down Mopoz. These players lined up as well. Freiburg now on a very low bit of HP. However, it's a mad advantage for Dignitas. They're going to be able to spring this retake. And with three players stuck towards water, we're going to have to see a huge round from Shox here. And well, he's good for one. And we'll get ready for some re-aggression. I think he expects the remainder in, well, in water. Good for two. Smooth getting that plant puts him in a one versus two. And a situation in which he definitely has a chance here. Spots out the first man. That's a nice shot on the forest. Now it's very doable. With Let Crow having to aggress into him. Smooth, he backs away. He goes on a A bit of an off angle going full well that Lecro is going to have a really tough time swinging into the UK Pride and well Smooth just gets it ready to just tease his way forward Lecro he taps that bomb once he tries to go for the timing and he tries to stick it, it now he sticks it does Smooth peek into him no he doesn't oh, wow <laughs> a lot of cover it's a good angle for Holzak to have right now but as Mopoz creeps up towards Monster he could do some serious damage and damage he does it all comes down to if he wins that first duel and when, his, when he wins the first he can double down with ease well let's see if they're able to pull ahead because of the time being Mopoz he's ready to ring out a few shots here or there not quite able to kill anyone just yet though when as Mopoz gets ready for this initial attack he holds firm and In a five on three, Let Crow spams down. Let Crow also falls. And for Mobile Star Riders, this should be a seventh. Mopoz, he's going huge. And Mopoz having a great game so far, going 15 to seven. As Hal Zerk, this is where he just saves the up. This is where he cowers, he waits. And it's like Smoothie might be prevented from doing just that. Smoothie for Dignitas, or for Mobile Star, sorry, where they've won the half. They're now playing to what extent? They eat a massive nade as they push towards B. And well, Heap, he's going for the hero play. Still executes his teammate. Shox executes his teammate as well. Heap with only one kill, but three men fall. And with that, Still, he'll push his way forward towards Toxic. He'll try to catch out some of these members, but where's his team got? He's got Sweeney to help, but Sweeney with only an orb has got to play the range game. And with that, Team Tusk Maker sticks. Fair enough.
as crazy as it sounds, you almost need to prepare in an offline server. You need to prepare these B rushes when you're pushing over towards monster or something like that. Who yep. peeks on the left hand side? Who goes towards the right hand side so that things like that don't happen? When you just say, right, let's send it monster and you don't have that kind of coordination, that's where really sloppy, messy plays like that happen, where you end up with two TKs. I know that the nade and the flashes didn't help matters at all. But yeah, they all just kind of trip over each other and considering that on him having a big play here and as they stack over towards B, oh, the Deagle, it just can't connect early. It does get some information and shocks. Oh, it has a hell of a lot of damage with that MP9. Well, it works out for them. Uh, the future is really through that smoke. We see Shocks just push his way forward, trying to pull himself up. There's a quick little kill. The forest good for one. Let Crow to trade. And now as he goes into a three on, well, now three on three with Heap trading once again. What's more, we see a really, really strong showing from Overstar, considering that these Deagles have really packed a bit of a punch. But they haven't won the round yet. And Dignitas... They're going to look to try and just punish any further aggression from Monster. For the time being, Deacon's ass, they keep them back. From Overstar Riders, they just fan out around the map and they wait to see where the push comes from. Well, 50 seconds on this clock and still further damage dealt. Dignitas off of the back of the aggressive prod. They've recovered it quite nicely. Heap and Lecro finding those kills to bring it back into a three on three. However, with 40 seconds left to tick, it still looks like they're leaning towards this B site. And Halzerk, I really needed to hit that shot. He's been missing a couple of key AWP shots this game so far. And it might just cost them as they creep into short. Alex will hit one more. Can't quite double down. But look at that clock. It's ticking down lower and lower. Dignitas need to speed this up. And they need to make sure that they don't fall to steel on this site. Well, uh, still looks to swing into them. Oh, Heap comes out on top. And with that, it's down to Smoo now. One versus two. Can he win it? He had an opportunity to do it in the first half. It was damn close. Unfortunately, he wasn't quite able to convert it. And he can't do it again here. Heap with a beautiful cluster bite. No AWP on Smoo. You're instead the FAMAS. No M4 on Shocks. Instead, the Desert Eagle. And very limited utility for them to work with. They're relying on the firepower. And so far, it's not coming through. It absolutely is, and Heap shutting down Alex is just another nail into the coffin for Movistar Riders. Mopal's on a close angle with only 40 HP left. All it takes is a really well-timed spam to shut him down, and frankly, that's going to play horrifically to his detriment. Well, still the man advantage here for Dignitas. We get to this minute mark on the clock, and Heap still just lingering around in connector, waiting for some kind of re-aggression. So far, it's not going to come through. Little does he know that Mopos is actually just sitting on the other side of this door, waiting to spot some legs. The timing, oh, it's impeccable. And as he opens the door, he... Wow, that's unfortunate. Freiburg's actually there to trade it instantly. And now this Desert Eagle on the site should just fall and the B site crumble with it. Shocks, he's taken down by Freiburg. Now Forrest waiting for the spam. And he shuts down Steel. He'll try to double up as well. It does just that. It's 50 aggression. There's nothing just yet in... What's interesting, actually, is considering both side riders won the round, their buy is still awful. And right now, the Dick Dash just shift their way forward. They'll get ready for this initial attack. It's a beautiful flash to get ready. Still good for one. He instantly there to trade, though. Smuya, now one of the only defenders towards uh, Trash. He's just to sit on top of it. But Forrest finishes the job on him. He able to trade. He great for these trades so far. Only on only 32 HP, though. Alex back sight. What can he try and do now in hold? Shox is there to assist him, but Freiburg good for one. The flashes are perfect as they continue to pepper the sights. Shox is praying for timing. And unfortunately, I think the only man who might be able to get here is Heap, but he won't even be able to do that. Heap shuts him down. Let Crow finish his move. Probably so, but a lot of utility. And there's going to be four flashes, a smoke, nade, and kit for them. And it's as they respond with a fast hit towards A. Two quick kills back and forth. Mopal's there to double down as well, though. Heidi's was back sight. He's got three players to try and pressure him down. He's got support from Heaven, but some water veil. Alex good for one. Follow up push goes through as steel's good for yet another Freiburg doubles down Freiburg makes stakes the first bit of damage there yeah, for the wall bang still doesn't quite land though as we up on the close angle good for one not quite traded out as Freiburg was to pressure him down eventually he gets the kill but is he ready for the second man of Mopos no he's not there's still a Mopos to ring two quick kills Alex able to double down as well they've been Forrest alone in a 1v4 Oh, that Ooh. is an incredible shot there from Forrest and as he doubles up he's only got two HP but two members left to find 
even if he falls here, they've done a substantial amount of damage. But on a force fire like this, they're hoping for the round win, and Forrest might be able to deliver it. Two points of health to his name, and there's one more target to find. If he peeks on the left-hand side of this box, he's got a bit of a head angle. Instead, he's going to fancy his chances with the scout. The C4, it's out in the open. There's only 20 seconds left to tick, but he's up against Steel. And as he creeps his way around, oh, he's just going to go for the jump. Now, previously, he was playing towards ramp. Now he's outside, but Letcro, does he check it? Oh, he almost does. And, well, still is able to catch out a player before he does so. It's down to a four on four. And as things has continue their momentum towards outside, the flashes keep them back. But in this lull, they just wait to see where Alex peeks forward from. Of course, we see Alex again just going to this close angle. How so? Does he peek yet? Oh, no, he doesn't. Alex, he goes for the time. He goes for the trigger discipline as well. And... Did Alex just not see it? <laughs> I think for a moment he did it there. Well, he's lucky to have come out on top. He's taken a hell of a lot of damage, but as that smoke goes down, Lekro, he's not even going to spam it anymore. He thinks that Alex has fallen away from this. Little does he know he's still in the corner. And Mopoz eliminates Heat just before he can eliminate Alex. Alex because of it. Lopez just at the close angle. Spots this out. Freiburg, sure, but he instantly left trade means he can swing wide into shocks. Forrest is able to maintain this back and forth, and as they took to Pepper Smooth's position, he's forced away. And, well, with that, it will be a site secure to plant down, and both side riders on a retake. Well, a three on three. And with this C4 down, Movistar Riders are kind of entertained this retake, but there's no kits, there's no utility. They surely can't go for this. They Even must, though they've got save. the numbers, they, they have to fall away. Yeah, I think they just don't really have a choice. They've got to go save, and unfortunately, it just doesn't work out for them. As we look over to Movistar Riders, who are just going to have a... They're going to have a fairly strong buy next round because they've saved weapons. That's not the end of the world, but nonetheless, it's still... Still a bit of a kind of poor performance considering how they just they won that round in about 10 seconds. Sometimes the way it goes though, isn't it? Especially here on New Quick Performance. He's actually leading he the charge by a mile. He's like 16 to 11 or something like that now. He's, he's yeah. putting up a great show, but the rest of his team, they're just not there. You said it perfectly. It's down to a four on four with the Inzas. They've got a fairly heavy setup, but they are playing a bit of bonus. The Mo positively shuts down the MP9s. This should spur on a bit of aggression towards the safe site. Freiburg hits them back for the time being, but for the Inzas, let's see what they can do with a bit of a hold here. Freiburg takes a bit of damage though. That keeps him back, but doesn't keep him out. Alex shutting down Letcro, forces it down to a four on two. And as they get ready for the push, Let's see who's able to come out on top of the fireball. Actually, aggressive on some Opal's day. He tries to double up. He spots the second member. He switches to the AK instead. He follows up, though, with a kill on the Smoothie. Steal to trade. Sure, he trades, but they've actually lost the bomb. I feel like Freiburg stuck around a little too long there, going for that third kill, but he's made this very, very doable for Holzak. Holzak, assuming that that C4's been taken, assuming that Movistar Riders don't want to hit into an A site that they know nothing about, He's actually working his way around to B. I think this might be the right call, but still, oh, he's wasting so much time. He's fully thinking that Holzak's still here towards lobby, and therefore he's terrified to peek without his teammate. As Holzak's cleared all around B, he's wrapping outside. He's got so much legroom. He just needs to get the timing right. As Movistar riders start to work their way back down towards ramp, Holzak needs to read this, needs to go down vents, and he needs to do so quickly. Well... Uh, timing isn't quite blessing him for the moment. Now, as he hears the util go down, he'll drop down into those vents and he'll go to cancel out this plant. He's going quiet for the time being, and because he hasn't been heard just yet, he does have the element of surprise. And while well, that plays to his advantage, let's see what he can do with it, because he's got a fairly even split between these members. But of course, with a deep ramp hold from these members, it should be pretty easy for them to negate. Hal's like, he opens those doors. He gives his position away, and unfortunately, he's walking straight into a crossfire. He spots out the first member towards Ram. Oh, it's actually upper. He fights, but they fight him together. It's a quick round. and with I, I think it's possible. I, I'm not going to say it's like impossible. It's definitely something that we see. Um, but right now, from what we've witnessed from both of these sides, across the series as a whole, I do think that Dignitas will be able to close this one out. You're right, it goes down into a four on four with only a couple pistols left on Mobile Star Riders. They're going to push their way back around. The test, they're able to keep ahead. And with that, it's down to Alex, Mopoz, and Smear both making their way towards ramp into the awaiting cross set of Heap. who's good for one. He knows there's going to be more there. And with a laser like shot on to Mopoz, let's see what else he can do. That's a nice shot by Alex there. But in the two on three, I think it is just going to dying twitches from the riders for the time being. 
It's a bit of a shame as well. We saw, I mentioned the fact that Shox had money to go for a bit of a buy. Um, but I said I wanted him to keep that money to, to drop an off over to Smoo. Yeah, he's not done so. And he hasn't really been able to do a whole lot. He found a single kill in this round, but I can't imagine that it means too much. And Smoo, right now, with this AK, could maybe catch out Forrest. He's looking the right way, but as he steps further and further back, he's quite vulnerable. And oh my goodness, the timing. I didn't realize Smuya wouldn't actually be able to see the head of Forrest even when he's that far back. A three on one and Dignitas, they're not taking any chances at all. Smuya, the saving graces, he's got the bomb on his back, but he's got no Kevlar. So as soon as he taps in these digits, as soon as Dignitas starts to converge on him, he's going to be in a hell of a lot of trouble. I think he was hoping to isolate a couple of gunfights before he got that bomb planted, but with only 15 seconds on the clock, he had to commit to it. Absolutely, and with Smuya just ready for the initial peak, he's just hiding towards Hut now. He knows this player's going towards him, and, well, Forrest, he's just going for timing here, and, well, any second now, he should be due this attack, and I'll tell you what, Dignitas, they're being pretty slow with this retake for the time being. Forrest, he just peeks his way forward, and with that, Smuya good for one. Spybug finished the job. Dignitas, they're going to make it 14. However... They kept that bomb taking down pretty damn low. Like, that went really close. Bit of a kind of advantageous point to make their way through. The reality is, though, they're at a stage where that momentum they have is slowly being lost. And the Mobistar Riders are starting to really get some serious uh, coverage here. As Forrest falls instantly, Freiburg, the only man who really has any teeth in this round or any equity, he's spied out towards Ramp. Alex brings out a few shots. The mother should keep him back for the time being. Sure, he's able to take down shots before he falls. And with another AK on heap, what good can he do with it? Again, it's damage, but it's no kill. And for the riders, they're just going to get close to this smoke. They're going to look to just trade on any kills they find. And they should leave him one up. Well, Alex does find the first, but not ready for the second swing as Lecro is eliminated. The riders just keep taking. Well, Dignitas' confidence certainly justified. Of course, they're playing absolutely beautiful Counter-Strike right now. Movistar Riders, they are taking control outside, but look at this gap from Lecro. He can abuse this so badly, but it's not even needed. Freiburg, he finds the first kill. Holzak follows up with a shot, still on the angle. Falls down, and all of a sudden, it's a three-man advantage here for Dignitas, and Holzak is still untouched. That it is, he's looking really damn strong right now. And as he looks to try and finish the job, he does just that. Beautiful round from Nick to Tess. A beautiful game and a beautiful series. They take it two to zero. They take Nuke 16 to 11. They rise above and they rise beyond. They progress out of their foot. They progress to the semi-finals. They're going to be playing against a, well, they're going to be playing against a, a very strong.